Okay, for uh, Math Skills 2, we're going to start with our uh, first uh, lesson, which is uh, lesson number one. And the first topic in lesson number one is called a uh, whole number place value. And uh, you've probably had this before, um, where you've had a place value chart. You might have a decimal point, and then you have some uh, place values to the right of it, and then you'll have some place values to the left of it. And uh, today, what we're going to concentrate on the numbers that are to the left of the decimal point, or in other words, the, the whole numbers. And it's important to know place values because uh, probably the most uh, um, popular place where place values are used is if you uh, need to write out a check because uh, you need to know how to write the number out and the place value of, of the digits. So let's start by taking a look at a, at a place value chart. And notice that uh, we've got the decimal point right here, which I uh, outlined in blue, and, uh, and we have that label, decimal point. Now to the left of it, okay, we've got the ones place, the tens place, the hundreds place, and then we kind of repeat that sequence because in a, in a normal number then, we would, uh, every three places we, we place a, a comma. Okay, next then we have the thousands or one thousands, the ten thousands, and the hundred thousands, and then we place a comma, and then this kind of this pattern continues with the one millions, the ten millions, the hundred millions, and then a comma, and then we repeat that with billions and so on. Now, really, in our uh, lesson, you may have some numbers that are not only in the billions but also in the trillions. So, if we were to continue this chart. Uh, right here, we have the billions or one billions. What would be to the left of that? Well, we would have 10 billions, and then to the left of that, we would have 100 billions. Next would be tr trillions, or in other words, 1 trillion, 10 trillion, and 100 trillion. So you'll need to, this is something that you need to copy into your notes because you will use this quite frequently. So I would just make it. Pretty much just like the way this chart is, is made on, on this screen. Now let's take a look at example how, how we're going to use this. And I want you to copy example one in your notes. Now just a, uh, something I'm going to backtrack a little bit since we're talking about notes. In your notes, before you start copying anything, when, when you take notes for a lesson, always have the topic of the lesson and which lesson it's coming from. So the first thing you're going to write down in your notes is whole number place value lesson one. And you can always stop and uh, pause or rewind uh, this video uh, to listen to, re listen to something again if you need to. Next in your notes, you're going to copy the, uh, the chart here. And you can pause this so you can copy it and then continue. Um, example one, I said you need to copy it. And, and what it has here is it says in the number 46,235. Now notice that um, there's not a decimal point, but we can create one. A decimal point in a whole number, a decimal point's always to the far right. Now, I have 46,235. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back uh, to this number, and I'm going to raise some of these marks here. So we have 46,235, and I'm going to write that right above here. So. Um, 235, 46,000, right? And then I'll put my comma there because every three places starting from the right, I have a comma. So one, I have the five, the three, the two, comma, and then the four and the six. All right, the first thing it asks is what digit, what number, okay, is in the tens place? And then the second thing it asks in A is what's the value of this digit. Now we're talking about two different things. We're talking about what number is in the tens place. Then it says what's the value of the number. Okay, those two words you really got to keep separated and know the difference between them. So first of all, what number is in the tens place? Well, we go back to our place value chart and we see the tens place and we see that there is a three. So the answer to that then would be three. All right, so three is in the tens place. Now, what's the value of this digit? Well, what's that mean? Well, it's simply saying this. How many, how many uh, tens are there here? Well, there's three. Well, three tens. So that's just like saying, well, what's three tens? What's three $10 bills? Let's see, $10 plus $10 plus $10. Well, 
or 3 times 10 okay, is 30. So what's the value of that digit? It's 30, because there's 3 of those 10s. And that's kind of how this works in this section. Let's do one more example would be, what digit is in the thousands place? So we take a look at the thousands place now. Um, so here I have my thousands, and I see that there's the digit 6. So I have 6 that is in the thousands place. Now it says, what's the value of this digit? So how many of those thousands do we have? We have six of those thousands, which I could look at as a thousand plus a thousand plus a thousand six times, or six times a thousand is six thousand. So the value of this digit is six thousand. So what we've done here is we've talked about whole number place value. 